about adaptations in plants. Plants are found everywhere on earth. But did you know that plants need to adapt to their surroundings so that so that they can environment suitable for them to live? Adaptation is the process by which animals or plants have to change they, themselves to live in the environment. So today we are, I'm going to tell you about, about adaptations in plants. First let's talk about plants in the hills. Hills are very cold regions and the climate ranges from cold to extremely cold. Plants here have to adapt to survive in the cold conditions and have to make the snow slip of their branches easily. So the shape of some trees in the hills are cone. It is the same sh shape of the ice creams you eat. The leaves of the trees are needle shaped and they are tough and stick green throughout the year. That's why these trees are called evergreen trees. Now trees in the hills do not have flowers. Instead they have cones and they have both female and female cones. Male cones have the pollen and the female cones have seeds. Plants are classified into two different groups. The, the plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Plants that grow under water are called aquatic plants. First, let's talk about the terrestrial plants. Second, let's go to the marshes. Marshes are areas of land with a lot of clay and water. Plants here have to adapt themselves to make the roots get, get enough air to breathe and their roots should not get choked or rotten because of the water. So mango, mangrove trees grow in these marsh, marshes. Their roots are, that are growing above the ground. That's why their roots are called breathing roots. Plains are areas of land with moderate climate. It's neither too hot as in the desert, neither too cold as in the hills. There is sufficient rainfall. Plants such as people and shisham grow here. They have a lot of branches and leaves. They shed the leaves in the winter to protect themselves from the cold. But don't worry, new leaves come in the spring season. Trees, trees such as mango and tea grow in hot and damp regions. They are evergreen trees, not because they don't shed their leaves, but they shed their leaves gradually. So you don't even realize that they are shedding their leaves and they stay green throughout the year. Go to the forest. Forests are thickly populated with a lot of trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers, climbers. They, in these areas have even coniferous trees, evergreen trees and even deciduous trees. The grasslands. Grasslands are large areas of land covered with grasses and wild, wild flowers. They, they grasses roots bind the soil together and make it rich and suitable for farming. Now let's go to the beach. Some places near the beach receive high rainfall and the water can be salty. Pla pla some plants such as coconut and pepper grow in the coastal regions. 